Great to get a chance to catch up with a very busy town leader, Emily Sparks, whose job it is, in part, to implement the vision that the town created last year into the plan. <laughs> Emily, welcome back to WHHI. How are you? Great. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. Cat herding begins now. Uh, <laughs> you're, you, you're trying to create a plan now that comes off last year's vision study. Uh, where do you begin? You're, you're right, that's exactly what we're trying to do. And so where we begin is getting the public involved. You know, through the first phase of all of this work, public involvement was really important to us and it remains important to us. And so what we are, are doing now is asking the public to come and participate, um, namely through two different opportunities that we have available right now. We have a call for applications out from now through February 3rd. Okay. Um, and would you like me to tell you a little bit about those? Absolutely. Okay, great. So the first opportunity is the Our Plan Development Team. And so that's an overarching group whose role really is to help ensure that the process and principles that have been set for the work is followed and that we have really meaningful coordination between all the different components of the work. A fair amount of time is going to be spent on that one if you want to be involved in that one. If you got a little less time but may, or maybe a specific area you're interested in, you can use those folks too, right? That's right. That's exactly right. And so the, those folks would be the Our Plan work groups. Okay. And so for the Our Plan work groups, there will be seven of those work groups. So one for each of the strategic action pillars that we outlined in the Our Future work. And so, for example, in the Our Future work, there was a pillar called Redefining Environmental Sustainability. So there will be a work group for that, and that group will be working on things related to that topic. And so the role of all of these work group members, all seven of the groups, will be to help use their expertise and interest in those topic areas to help us draft some implementation tactics and strategies for a, our plan. A great thing to do for folks is maybe to go to the town's website and surf around a little bit and, and figure out where this is going. Is there a specific spot on the website that's a good place to go? That's right. So right now, if you go to the town's website, the very first news story will say our plan. And so I would encourage everyone to, to head right there and they can read all about the work that has been done previously and what we're gearing up to do. And I'd also encourage everyone to keep checking back. You know, we're going to show progress throughout this process on the website so you can follow Good. along, see where we are, see how you can get involved even if you can't participate in the development team or one of the work groups. There you go. There'll still be a chance for some input. Uh, timeline on all of this. When do you hope to, to start to really see some, is there a deadline or is this going to be an ongoing thing for a while? We will be um, adopting the plan next summer. Okay. So, so we're looking at about a year and a half of work here and we're looking to kick off here in the next month. So we're really, really excited to get our development team and our work groups in and any other members of the public that want to participate in the process, we hope that they will sign up for our email newsletter. That's going to be the best way to get up-to-date information and find out how you can get involved. All right. You want to fix the island? Get involved with this. <laughs> Go to the uh, Hilton Head Island Town website. Thanks so much, Emily. Emily Sparks from Town Hall. Laura Palmer takes us out and about next.